Now, I want to keep this short because I know everyone wants a little bit of fresh air. They're worrying about the wellness of this room they've been in all day and all kinds of uh, things and, and uh, able to uh, refresh before dinner. But I was reflecting on how we've heard some really uh, exciting things about new technologies and, and uh, really positive, optimistic views about the future. We've heard about integration of technologies and the way to bring things together and about sustainability and the importance of sustainable uh, solutions uh, for uh, the future. Uh, we hear a lot about the Internet of Things, and I want to sum it up and say that I believe that we've come away from this whole discussion today, going from the Internet of Things and technology integration sustainability to the Internet of People, the reason we are here today, and the networking and the things that go on when people get together and work on problems. People kept coming up in all of our discussions. I heard citizen involvement, talent competitiveness, collaborative, innovative, uh, collaborative innovation. Uh, we heard about healthy buildings that people might like to be in. Uh, free, friendly, open atmospheres for collaboration. The importance of balancing freedom and order uh, the balance between immigrants and locals, uh, the issues of inequality in cities. We heard that innovation isn't uh, helpful if it doesn't have customers or people to adopt the new technologies, to take up the new ideas. And lastly, we heard a lot about the importance of teams and even the suggestion that cities may be better if they collaborate with one another uh, rather than trying to go it alone. So I just want to finish where I started this morning, talking about how important, I believe, open collaboration, cooperation, and mobility are. And I want to congratulate again the Global Federation Competitiveness Councils for making these opportunities for us to come together as people, for us to have these thoughtful discussions, and for us to move uh, these uh, issues forward. And so. Uh, with that, um, I just want to thank you and ask uh, Chad to come up next. Alice, thank you. That was fantastic. I'd like to leave you with a suggestion and ask you for a favor. Suggestion is make this conference worthwhile to you. Everybody in this room has been to a lot of conferences, and some of them you can't remember right now. I want to make this one you can remember. It's three suggestions. One person you met uh, here, fo the follow up with them the next three weeks some way or another and keep that connection alive. One idea that you heard here, actually do something about it sometime in the next three weeks. Maybe you can't implement it, but you can take a step forward on it. Th there are so many interesting ideas I had never heard before. I must admit it came out of this. Take two or three of those ideas and sometime in the next three weeks, come and discuss it with your family or friends and share it with them and go discuss it with some, some work colleagues. My guess is you'll remember this conference and then you might want to come back again. So that's my suggestion. It's all up to you, but I, I've, it's the kind of rule I use. If I, I'm going to sit through a whole conference, I'm, I'm going to try to take something away from it and those three things help me a lot. Then I want a favor. You now what, know what the GFCC really is. Many people know for a long time and you've been a part of it. Go figure out a university, a company, a country organization that should be a part of this and go tell them I want you to go follow up with Roberto and, and have a conversation about GFCC and the difference it can make in one of those organizations. You'll be doing them a favor. Thank you very much. Deborah, the floor is yours. Thank you, Alice and Chad. Let me just on behalf of the GFCC thank all of you for coming, for being with us for the day. Uh, there was tremendous uh, conversation and networking and engagement. Uh, I think our innovation of the breakout sessions were great. Um, following up, we're going to prepare a report. We're going to uh, put this out both on social media, but you'll also get a summary of our discussion. Um, so many of the ideas that emerged uh, really had a lot to do with what we, what we really need to do going forward to collect the dots and to really build on what we've learned here, each in our own respective lives when we go home, but also as we can, as Chad said, keep this community alive. 
Um, Imperial College, Alice has been a fantastic partner. We really thank you for your team. Um, not only, as I said this morning, um, were they brilliant and creative, but in every detail, we were, were just delighted to work with them. And I, I want to formally thank my colleagues in the GFCC, uh, Roberto Alvarez, our executive director, you and Catherine Tinker and, and, and Eric Rufdon, you've all worked so hard. Thank you very much for uh, producing this fabulous uh, conference and day of togetherness. You know, we're very excited about the dinner tonight in the Guild Hall. For, for those of you who haven't been there, you know, we'll, we'll see this incredible uh, space that really symbolizes so much of what we've been talking about uh, today and into the future. Um, I just have one thought about cities, uh, sort of a back to the future perspective. And that is that, you know, throughout human history, cities sort of have a, a few characteristics. They entice people, people want to go to cities. But in order to go to a city, you have to feel safe and secure. And also in a city, you have to be busy. You have to do things that give your life purpose and meaning. And the other thing about cities, and we didn't talk about this, but cities have a soul. And they have something about them that makes them special and unique. So as we build together the uh, seamless, the evolving, the, the well, and the free city, let's not lose the great diversity of the uniqueness of cities around the world that um, characterize our, our culture and humanity. I'm very excited now to introduce um, one of the GFCC's distinguished fellows, a tremendous global leader, uh, Professor uh, Zakri Hamid, who's the uh, science advisor to the Prime Minister of Malaysia. He heads the uh, United Nations Science and Technology Advisory Committee. He's a great global thinker and a doer and distinguished fellow that's going to be leading uh, our meeting next year. So Professor Zakri, we'd like to welcome you up here and thank you and your colleagues from Malaysia for taking us on the next journey. Thank you, uh, Deborah. Uh, I join other colleagues who congratulated the conveners on this uh, summit this year for a very highly successful one. Uh, I just want to stand here to make an announcement that uh, Malaysia is very happy to host the next uh, summit sometime next year, subject to a date which would be uh, conducive uh, to all colleagues and friends. Uh, I'm already very excited about the notion of convening uh, the GFCC uh, in Malaysia. Uh, we are newcomers to this, but at the same time, as I reflect, there's a lot of uh, value to an organization like the GFCC. Uh, the whole world has been talking about improving uh, the well-being of uh, people on Earth. So the challenge for us, uh, how would we uh, position an organization like the GFCC to make a contribution to that? And uh, I like what I hear in terms of the need for networking. At least I agree with you. A lot have been spoken about the Internet of Things, but eventually, I think the internet of people is the most uh, critical element that's needed for uh, this uh, world uh, today. Uh, someone uh, told me that uh, countries have lack of resources, lack of natural resources. Some are very rich in natural resources. But I can tell you the most precious resource would be people ourselves. So that is the challenge to us. Uh, today I'm also very pleased to hear in the uh, principles of the GFCC, we align ourselves to the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, summit, which was uh, organized uh, in September 2015, 
promises a lot of hope. But let's make no mistake, there's a lot of rhetoric there. So it is up to an organization, a fledgling organization like the GFCC, to make a difference. So it is along those lines. I am very hopeful. I am very keen to organize the next meeting of the GFCC. A welcome to Malaysia. I learned quite a number of you have not been there. Uh, I'm not very <laughs> pleased to know that many have visited Singapore. But we promise you a good time in Malaysia next year. Thank you.